Did Eastern Michigan University ignore a campus rape culture? 24 sexual assault victims are suing the university. And tonight, one is going public, sharing her story with us in hopes of changing that culture. Those victims say Eastern Michigan officials disregarded reports of sexual assault and discouraged victims from coming forward. And just last week, EMU agreed to enter into mediation with the two dozen individuals suing the college for failing them after they reported being sexually attacked. Tonight, one of those victims shares her story with us with a warning, it is graphic. I'm struggling with a lot of the PTSD and the social anxiety and it takes a lot to go public when you share your story of rape but danielle dunbar says her story needs to be heard how do you tell your family on christmas that you were raped two days before that's not something that i wanted to do danielle's story starts when she decided to visit friends at eastern michigan university back in december of 2014. it wasn't even a party i mean it was it was um my friend her boyfriend and maybe like five other people Okay. And I was literally just there to hang out with my friend. That gathering, Danielle says, would lead to her being sexually attacked inside the Delta Tau Delta fraternity house by Dalton Brosnan. He is currently facing criminal sexual assault charges in the case. I remember telling him to stop. I mean, it's like your worst nightmare being paralyzed and having no control over your body. Right. He wouldn't look at me, he was just taking my clothes off. And then the assault itself happened. And that was how I lost my virginity. So I mean, not only were you attacked, but you were in a sense attacked again by the system. The report process was was really difficult. So they they basically told me that it wasn't necessarily worth pursuing. It was his first um, his first offense. He had never gotten in trouble for anything else. In court documents, it states Brosnan sent a series of text messages to Jane Doe number 12, where he apologized at least eight times in one message stating, hey, I'm so sorry about last night. Seriously, like I don't know what happened. According to the lawsuit, EMU still did not help. The Title IX department telling Danielle, when it comes to alcohol and sex, it is a complicated topic making students believe that if you are intoxicated, consent can be given. And to have them tell you that it's a gray area because of alcohol. I mean, one of the first things you learn about rape is that you can't consent if there's alcohol involved. So they made it very difficult for you not only to report, but then to continue this case. Yeah, and it was, it was a lot more re-traumatizing and a lot more difficult to even want to keep pursuing mm -hmm. these charges and or take, having him be held accountable. It was, it was a lot of hoops for me to jump through and that should not be how it is when you're reporting an assault. It's already hard enough to do. Danielle says she's not alone. According to the lawsuit she is part of, 23 others claim their sexual assaults were covered up by the school. I am scared for people that attend that school. I am fearful that this isn't going to change. And that's why I'm in this lawsuit. That's why I'm speaking publicly about this, because it needs to change. How many more people need to get hurt before EMU puts a stop to all the rapes that are happening on their campus? Now, I did reach out to Eastern Michigan University, who did release a statement that reads in part, Eastern Michigan University takes all sexual assault and sexual misconduct claims seriously and is committed to thoroughly investigating incidents and providing appropriate support for the parties involved and their specific needs and concerns. The survivors who have come forward show incredible bravery in choosing to tell their stories. It goes on to say, contrary to the complaints allegations, the university is and has been steadfast in its commitment to respond to reports of sexual misconduct. Any accusation that the university covered up crimes of sexual assault is false. If you head to the Defenders page of ClickOnDetroit.com, you can read the entire complaint as well as EMU's responses to it. Meantime, Dalton Brosnan, the man Danielle says raped her, is expected to have a motion hearing later this week on that criminal sexual conduct charge.